We hear a lot at the moment about AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids like lactic and glycolic acids that are supposed to do wonders for our skin. But how do they work? Do they work? And if so, what are the best products? Well, I'm a journalist with a keen interest in all things anti-aging, and this is what I've learned about glycolic acid in particular today, and my own experience and results from using it. So glycolic acid is really the star striker in the AHA team. It is colourless, odourless, and it's derived from sugarcane. The term alpha hydroxy acids is used to describe a group of plant and animal derived skincare products. And they include things like citric acid that's made from citric fruits, surprise, surprise, lactic acid from lactose, and malic acid that also comes from fruits. Um, they are a type of chemical exfoliant and they dissolve the bonds between our dead skin cells that removes them, revealing what we hope to be smoother, younger looking skin below. From all the research that's been done so far, it's glycolic and lactic acids that are the most promising and are the least likely to cause irritation. A lot of skin specialists will put glycolic acid at the top of the pile because it's said to yield the most dramatic results and it's also the smallest of the acids so it should be easier for the skin to absorb. So you might have also heard of BHAs, just to confuse the whole issue, they are beta hydroxy acids. Now the best known of them is salicylic acid and they are more commonly used to treat acne prone skin. So today, because we're talking anti-aging, we're gonna focus on AHAs and glycolic acid in particular. Now AHAs, as I've said, they ex exfoliate our skin by removing the dead skin cells, but they also promote the formation of new skin cells. Now the Healthline website says that research suggests they also help promote collagen production, correct discoloration from age spots. They can improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and they can help prevent acne breakouts, brighten your skin, and um, also interestingly, they can increase product absorption. So that means that they help your skin absorb some of the other products that we use like hyaluronic acids. So I've noticed recently that a good few dermatologists and their celebrity clients are talking about glycolic acid and its benefits more and more. I've used glycolic acid in the past. I actually did a little video that I'll link to on my experience of using L'Oreal's glycolic acid peel pads. And I did like them, but I got out of the way of using them. Um, that's because firstly, they were fragranced and I don't really like using fragrance products on my face. They didn't really cause me any irritation, but they were just a little bit sticky. And I think um, pads are a bit of a hassle. They're not very economical or environmentally friendly. So this time around, I decided to go with a serum. And with a serum, you know, above something like a toner, I felt this was something that I could more easily build into my daily routine because it takes two seconds to smear over my face and I just have to use my hands to apply it. Most experts, recommend using a concentration of less than 10% glycolic acid to avoid some of the side effects like dryness or irritation. So I decided to start low to see how I went and I opted for Nip and Fab's 4% glycolic fix serum. It uh, promises that when used over time, it can help smooth the appearance of fine lines and reduce the appearance of pores as well, which was also something that really appealed to me because along with all the other things that come with aging, I am noticing more enlarged open pores appearing on my nose in particular. So I wanna try and get rid of these. And I also want to try and get rid of these age spots on my chest and some of the, the pigmentation around my eyes and my nose. And glycolic acid is one of the products that's most recommended to do that. I applied this serum daily for a few weeks without any issues at all. Um, it actually includes aloe vera to soothe the skin. And it was so gentle that I used it twice daily. 
Um, it is fragranced, which is a bit annoying. It kind of has a citrusy smell, um, but I don't have any irritation. Um, it's just a clear, lightweight serum, um, very easily used and absorbed into the skin. So I used that for a few weeks and then I was ready to up my game. And um, I'm a fan of Paula's Choice products. So I switched to their 8% glycolic acid lotion. I'm gonna to link to both products in the description box below. Uh, the Nip and Fab serum typically costs £19.95, but it's just a small amount. There's only 30 milliliters in this little um, bottle here. Um, it's currently £11.40 on Amazon in the UK at the time of filming. In the US on Amazon, it's under $15, so it's a lower cost option. The Paula's Choice 8% serum costs £30 on Amazon, but there's a lot more in it at 100 millilitres. And it's also cheaper in the US, if you factor in the exchange rate, it's $30 for the 100 milliliters. So it also has uh, twice the concentration of glycolic acid. Um, it's fragrance free and it's also very lightweight and easily absorbed into the skin, no stickiness at all. I haven't had any irritation from it. Um, it promises to, uh, like the other serum, um, smooth out fine lines and um, tackle some of the skin discoloration as well. You can apply it once or twice daily uh, and you can follow it with your usual moisturizer. But remember with any acid exfoliant, you must use a broad spectrum sunscreen of SPF 30 or higher in the day because they do increase your skin sensitivity to the sun. So cutting to the chase, have I seen any difference using glycolic acid over a couple of months? Well, I used the 4% for a full month and then I used the Paula's Choice 8% for another month on top of that. Now, what I haven't seen so far is a big reduction in skin discoloration, but I have seen a mild improvement in the pore size and a slight brightening of the skin. Um, however, this is why you should always take before and afters whenever you're trying out something new that promises to make a difference to your skin. Because when it comes to the softening of the lines, take a look at these photos of my eyes. They're taken one month apart. And in the more recent one, there does seem to be an improvement in the texture of my skin and possibly a slight lifting of my eyelids. Still early days. And what I do have to say, is that some days my eyes will look more lined than others. I think that's possibly because the glycolic acid can make my skin a little drier sometimes. And um, I also have a breakout on my forehead today. So I cannot say that from these products, all my skin troubles are answered. But I think that glycolic acid is useful as part of a mix of anti-aging products. So I'm also using a hyaluronic acid moisturizer every day from CeraVe and an Obagi vitamin C serum. And I'll link to both of them below as well so you can see what I'm using day to day. As far as the glycolic acid goes, it is still early days. I'm going to keep going with it. I will exclusively use the um, glycolic acid and no other products on my chest area to see if using it can shift age spots and fine lines on my chest. But on my face, I'm gonna step it up again. And I'm about to introduce a retinal. Not a retinol or a retin-A, but something in between called retinol. And it's from Medicaid. And I'm gonna use it at night and then the glycolic acid in the morning. So I'm gonna be reporting back on my progress. And what I'll do is I'll um, film a quick video explaining the difference between retinol, retinal and retinoic acid, which you might better know as tretinoin or the brand Retin-A. I fervently believe that at the age of 48, with all the advances in skincare, I will eventually hit on the right mix of products and combinations for my skin. You know, I'm getting closer all the time. And I believe it's possible through skincare to reduce the existing signs of aging and help prevent further lines and sagging. As long, of course, as we continue to use sunscreen daily as well. So as a starting point, I would definitely recommend these two serums. Um, 
and if you're looking to try one out um, I would love to hear what you think of it if you decide to go for either one of these or if you're already using glycolic acids let me know which products are working for you you know it's always so interesting to hear about your own experiences and recommendations if you haven't already subscribed if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you'll be notified as soon as my next video is published I review a wide range of anti-aging treatments and products on this channel along with some of the household products I really recommend as well and I share my own experiences and opinions too. By liking this video you do help it go further on YouTube so I just wanted to say thanks to all of you who give it a thumbs up and also to those regular viewers who uh, support every video it really is very much appreciated. For now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.